Assalamu alaikum, my name is Sayyid Osama Aziz. Welcome back to another class of Cobot. Previously, we developed an edge detection robot, a line following robot, and now for today's video, we are going to make an obstacle avoidance robot. We will be using the same robot chassis that we used, and all the items that are required to develop this robot chassis are included in our Cobot Robotics Kit. And the information related to this kit is present in the description down below. So if you are interested in buying this kit, please check that out. Now let's get started. In order to make an obstacle avoidance robot, the sensor we are going to use is this ultrasonic sensor. This sensor will be placed at the front side of the robot. And for that, I have actually moved these two IR sensors towards the wide side of the robot to make space for this. And now when we mount this sensor at the front side, you can see that from here, it will be able to send the sound waves at the front side and the reflected waves will come back towards it with the help of which this sensor can help us detect the obstacles or objects that are in front of the robot. And using programming, we can then program the robot to avoid those obstacles. So let's move on and see how it works. Okay, so we have connected this sensor at the front side of the robot. Here we have four pins. So this one is the ground and on the other side we have VCC. The center two pins are the echo and the trigger pin. So these two eyes of the sensor that you're watching here. Uh, so one of them is the transmitter, which can be controlled using this trigger pin. And the other one is the receiver, which can be used to receive the reflected sound waves that are coming back from the object or obstacle that is in front of the sensor. So we know the formula for the distance is a speed into time. And we know the speed of sound as well, which is a constant. So all we need to calculate is the time it takes for the sound waves to travel from here, from the transmitter to uh, collide with the object and then come back and be received at the receiver end. Now obviously this will be, uh, this time will be double, amount, double the amount of time. So we'll have to divide it by two. We will just see that in the programming section. So let's just move into the programming part. Okay, so here comes the most important part in the obstacle avoidance robot and that is the programming. So let's just start our discussion here. We have our left and right motors which we have declared. Then we have the trigger and the echo pin that we have just discussed. These are also declared over here. And we have some variables which we will be using in order to calculate the distance between the obstacle and the robot. So in the setup section, as usual, we have our uh, motor pins declared as an output and our sensor pins here. Trigger is basically something which we will be controlling. So it is declared as an output and echo is where we will be receiving the reflected waves. So this needs to be read. Therefore, it is this pin is declared as an input. Now, the most important part is the loop where the algorithm is working. The only new function that you will be seeing here is the calculate distance function. If you understand this function, you will be able to understand very easily how this code works. So again, in order to program the robot for obstacle avoidance, the first thing we need to do is to calculate the distance. And I will just explain that function in a minute, but just uh, for a second, assume that here we have calculated the distance and if the if their distance is greater than a threshold. Now threshold is again something that I have defined above over here, which is 20 centimeters. Now remember that all these measurements of distance are in centimeters. So if distance is greater than threshold, which is 20 centimeters, then we want our robot to move forward. Okay. But as soon as the distance becomes less than threshold, this condition becomes false. Then we will move into this else section. We will stop the motors immediately, wait for one second, move backwards for 1500 uh, milliseconds, then again stop the motors, and then again calculate the distance. So this is the uh, algorithm that we are working. We are continuously calculating the distance, and based upon that distance, if it is greater than threshold, then we want our robot to move forward. It means that there is nothing in front of the robot. But as soon as it becomes less than the threshold, we need to stop the motors and move backwards. Now, we are not taking a left or right turn in this scenario because our robot doesn't have that capability to see towards the left or right side of it. That is something that we will program in the next video where we will develop an advanced version of the obstacle avoidance robot. For now, because we do not know anything 
uh, we have no information from the left or right side of the robot that is why we just are making sure that we move backwards and not left or right okay so now let's just discuss about this calculate distance function this is the function which is basically calculating the time which is required for the waves to travel from the trigger part of the sensor towards the obstacle and then coming back. So it is again very simple we are making sure that the trigger pin is low then we are triggering it high. High means that now the sound waves will come out of the sensor and the burst will be of 10 microseconds and then again we will write low on the trigger pin. This means that for 10 microseconds a sound wave burst will emit out of the sensor and then this pulse in function is very important because it is waiting for the echo pin to go high. So as soon as that waves go out collide with the object and come back and get received at the sensor which is the echo pin this pulse in function will detect that and it will actually be giving us the value of time. Now make sure that this time variable is a long type variable. There are different data types we have integers we have float we have long so this should be a long otherwise your code might not work properly. So this time function then multiplied with again now here we have a simple formula from physics which is to calculate the distance we need to multiply time with the speed of sound. Speed of sound is a constant which is 344 uh, the units are I think meter per second I'm not sure but uh, here we have used 0.034 because we have converted that standard into centimeters and then into microseconds because all of our calculations are in centimeters and this uh, this unit of time that we're using is microseconds so that is why once we do the necessary calculations we get this value and here we have divided it by two which is very important because the time that this echo pin uh, the time that this pulse in function is giving us is basically double time. Uh, the time from the sense uh, from the uh, the time it starts when the waves come out of the sensor go to the obstacle and then come back but what we need is only half the time so that is why we are going to divide it by two so that we get the accurate value of distance. Now once this distance gets calculated the rest of the thing is again very simple to calculate and the functions that we have used for stopping the motors and moving forward and backward they are again very similar to the ones that we have used in our previous videos. So now let's just upload this code into the robot and let's see how it performs in a practical scenario. Okay, so that is the end of the video. I hope you learned a lot from this and if you did then please make sure you press the subscribe button also turn on the notification bell and please like this video as well. In the future video we will be making this robot much more intelligent where we will be adding the capability to look at the left and right side and then decide where there is no obstacle it will take a turn towards that side. So if you want to learn about that and some other projects are also coming on this channel. So if you want to learn about that then please stay tuned. So let's meet into the next video. Till then, Assalamu Alaikum.